So yeah, so I, I head up uh, the conversation design team here um, at 24-7 and I'm also a practice lead as well too. I would say that overall, um, probably the biggest stereotype I've heard of and I've seen is uh, just around tech and women in the industry and just what we're good at and what happens is when people start to see those skill sets that women have, I think we um, we tend to set, get expectations set on us that maybe isn't our role. Like for example, being organized or being accountable or gathering resources or getting things done. Those things women just tend to be good at. And because of that, I think we tend to see a lot of that, um, the uh, skill set or the role being put on us, even though it may not be actually our role. So yeah, so um, I think it started with my dad. When we started, when I was very young, we always used to have a lot of just technology in the house. We have the latest computer, you know, always had a computer or some type of technology since I was born. Um, and it, you know, had the latest video camera and all those things. So just, I think being around that technology, I just got very comfortable with it. He just let me be very comfortable with it. And then it started to empower me that, you know, if my dad can do it, I can do it too. You know, it just got in this um, idea that, you know, it doesn't matter who I am or, you know, where I came from, what background I have. I have a background in psychology, for example, and I'm working in the tech space. So I think you can really do anything. So he kind of empowered me to get to this point. Yeah, I think, especially with, you know, in all industries, but most particularly tech, it's just things are changing all the time. You know, there's always new ways to solve problems and new technology advancements. And because of that, you kind of have to work a lot and around the clock to keep up with those, you know, on the job, out of office hour, you know, you're doing things like courses and um, just reading, you know, a lot of just new things to keep up with the new technology, um, which is very interesting. It keeps you on your toes, but at the same time, it definitely, um, it's just a balance, balancing that versus the regular um, other things in your life too. First of all, you know, women are great fit for tech. So no matter what your background or your skill set, there are tons and tons of tech opportunities that women can fit into so well, depending on what your skill set and aptitude is. And then it really doesn't matter your education or background either. You know, there's again, because of the skill sets and the breadth of what tech can bring, you can, you know, start in one area and you can learn a completely different area, you know, in a year, potentially. We've had tons of people on our team go from, they start as conversation designers and then they go into being data scientists. We've had people go into the marketing team. We've had people go to customer success. You know, we, we see all that all the time. So it's just, it depends on, you know, what your passions are. And then usually when you're here, um, we can help fuel those passions and get you into other spots that you're passionate about based on, you know, research and learning and just development over time. Yeah, I would say that this is a preface, AI is good and getting better every day, but that's still fairly basic. So it's basically, you're just programming a machine to do a task for you somewhat intelligently, you know, automatically, intelligently, automation, things like that. So um, it could be recognizing patterns and things. It's a big use of AI today. It could be um, being able to respond to a question that's not powered by a human today. It's kind of those two things that we're doing today in our in our org um, in the product team, especially. Um, so yeah, so it's it can be lots of different things, but those are two um, fairly common use cases that AI does. Um, but yeah, it can be really anything. It's just yeah, you're having a machine do something for you on your behalf that you programmed it to do somewhat intelligently. Yeah, so I started here in uh, 2005 when I worked for a company called IntelliResponse and we were acquired by 24-7 around 2014 and I've been here since then. 
Um, and right now I head up the conversation design team. Um, and again, I'm a practice lead. So I pretty much um, have uh, a team that we design these bots and applications and IVRs for our clients and we help them build them. So we kind of are in charge of a lot of the automation um, uh, part of our, our company and what we are claim to fame is. I really love the tech that we bring and I love working with all these enterprise clients that we have. It's a real challenge and it, I think it just makes a big impact from, you know, just from what I've seen um, across what we've been able to do. And overall, I just, I think I've learned and grew, so I've grown so much since I've started. I started in one role and I've learned, you know, so many different roles and so many different new things since I've started. And it's just been a, a really great ride all these years. So I'm really thankful to be here. Thank you.